also like to bring to your attention, Madam Chair, that while 64% of our people live in cities, most of the federal funding is being channeled to the native nation, um, those on reservations. The funds provided to both native nations and urban programs really do not adequately provide service that is actually guaranteed um, by the trust responsibility that we have with the United States government. Um, this results in various, a very serious lack of health care options for our people. And in closing, Madam Chair, urban Indians suffer from one of the highest unemployment rates in the country. <coughs> and this is a this is a result of the 1960s and 1960s when many American Indians were actually forced to move to the city through a government relocation program aimed at placing American Indians into metropolitan areas. This was done, Madam Chair, by federal law. One called the Relo Indian Relocation Act and the other called the Indian Termination Act. I want you to bring that to your attention, Madam Chair, and <coughs> in the United States. Thank you so much.